What's up guys, Dom here on Dom's Anime Den. And I actually have a double feature today for you guys. I got Tanjiro Kamado. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And his sister, Nezuko Kamado. So they're both on here. Take a look at the box, guys. Super cool. So I wanted to do a double feature because they're always like together in the anime. So I just, and I got them literally, I got this one a few days ago and I just I got this one today. So I was just like, yeah, double feature, brother and sister. So cool. So, you guys are gonna watch me fight to assemble some nendoroids. Let's put this off to the side over here. Every time. her face this is the face plate that's on there she only comes with the one on here and an additional one the one where she's super upset i want to get a close-up on there look at that and then this is the body androids are also always pretty awesome super huge stand There's a couple like arms, legs, uh, this is, so you can actually change what she's wearing and her, how she poses at least. So that's kind of cool. Um, I remember this episode too. Um, and here is the famous box that he carries her in. Wonder, ah, look at this. And it looks like there's a little peg in there. So yeah, that's awesome. All right, so that's all for her. Now here is, oh, one second. Here's his face, scarred all the earrings. The earrings are awesome. Here's his body, the coat, that. These are his legs. And he actually comes with two face plates. See that? So additional because he actually 
A total of three. Okay. It has a bunch of different arms, so you can pose them in different ways to fighting and everything. And then here's the here's the water. I think that when he uses this move to slice with the water, is some of the best art I have seen in an anime in so long. I absolutely love the scenes when he uses this attack. So cool. All right. Okay, there's just a couple like attachments and things like that to put on him. So really for this, so he can carry her. All right. So let's do some assembling. I mean, the instruction level. simple. I'm going to set her up. So. Okay. See you a little bit better here. There we go. Alright. And now we'll assemble Tanjiro. No, we need this one. Uh, 
Definitely have to figure these out with the instructions. One sec. But right now, take a look at these two together. They're so awesome. All right. So I need this piece and this piece. Almost looks like a little wrench. All right pliers okay so these two pieces and these guys and this is actually the stand for Tanjiro if he didn't have the um, book bag on him or the box on him um, this is what you would display him if, with other things like when you want to have him doing the water attack Excuse me, I don't know the specific name of the attack. It's been a little bit since I watched the show. But, uh... So, I actually... Use this. You actually have him hold it over his head. So, he would be holding it. So, you can... You can choose to display him in different ways. Let's see if we could play with this. This might be fun. Okay. Okay, boom. sure how this is gonna work actually hmm. I would need to be able to keep this on here so unfortunately yeah you can only do either or because this has to go like over his head like this Stinks. I wanted to. <laughs> pieces and you snap it into one of each side and the other one just slides in right behind right on next to it so 
I'm actually gonna put it on here for the sake of displaying so it can look cool, you know? stable situation that's my guy here yeah yeah let's see this okay <laughs> i always try to do something weird with the way i display them because there's so many parts it's so fun to do it all right oh, no it's like rolling forward or something all right I feel defeated. <laughs> All right. Okay, slip that in, slip that in. And slide these two in here. Clip on there. Come on, clip. Okay, so now that I'm done with the assembling part of two Nendoroids, which was like kind of stressful, um, yeah. So I'll put these away in my little parts container thing. Okay, so Good Smart Company always does a good job with their Nendoroids. Like, I never have a complaint. Um, there's been a couple that I'm like, ah, kind of standard, kind of boring. Um, Nezuko, she was pretty standard because she came with just one additional faceplate. Um, and I mean, she's sleeping most of the show, so I didn't expect for her to be very grandiose. But, you know, she was basic. Um, she looks just like the character, the eyes, you know, chibi version. Um, and she's the little sister that you're protecting and is super cute. You know, it was awesome. Um, Tanjiro, he's special because he has that determination and he just won't give up. He has no quit and you can't help but respect the guy. Um, he definitely has to develop some courage and things like that throughout the show. Um, and maybe a little less, uh, of being naive, I guess I would say. But, um, his Nendoroid had a little bit more juice to it because... There's a lot more development with him being awake the entire time because, you know, he's not under this, um, <clears throat> he didn't get bit. Well, anyway, so she did come with the box, though, that he goes, she, he, she goes in. So it's going to be cool for me later on to play around with, like, just the head, put her in there and him and all that. Um, I love the water attacks so i wanted to just get that this water wheel thing together um since i couldn't display him i actually just realized that he doesn't have a hand <laughs> so i'm going to actually put the hand back and um with the katana if i can find it oh right here um with the katana so he's not just handless but I tried to get it to work where he had the box and the we the attack right over him, but it wasn't working out. Alright. Now I'm afraid to touch him. <laughs> Alright. So get this off. Come here. There we go. So he's super awesome. Um, I love the scar on his face, like the birthmark. I have some birthmarks too, so I'm like, yeah, um, team birthmark. <laughs> anyway, um, they look awesome. They even got the highlights in the back. You know, they definitely shaded in his hair. Good Smart Company does such a great job with these. Um, I know they like you know print them 3d and all that but you know they still gotta airbrush them and paint them and it just it's just so amazing you know i'm, I'm so happy about um 
these on the roids. I never have to worry about, you know, is the quality gonna be good? Is, are, you know, is there gonna be any paint scuffs or if there are gonna be any spots lighter than the others? No, basically my main concern is how much parts are these gonna come with? Are these gonna come with a lot of parts or just gonna be basic parts? How many face plates? How much um, can I change these? Nendoroids, that's what I'm looking for more than quality and that's kind of nice because you don't have to worry about the simplicity of it and the quality. I just have to worry about how much Good Small Company is giving me per Nendoroid in of the parts, of the changeable parts. Um, but anyway, yeah, his hair, the scarring, even the angry face plate. Um, I love the water, uh, the katana, the box, that was awesome. Um, they definitely look exactly like the characters. That's never ever like a, a problem as far as these kind of small scale figures, uh, non-scale figures. These Nendoroids are super cool. I love them. Um, you got to see me struggle and um, watch the struggle that it is to assemble an Nendoroid. But I like to I like to have you guys see me unboxing them putting them together um and maybe it'll help you guys out too when you're trying to put yours together good luck um especially with that wheel thing is kind of like ah. so but if you're greedy like me and you want the box you want the katana you want the water um good luck <laughs> if you choose just one then it's not going to be as complicated as i decided to choose it made it make it for myself um but yeah nezuko tanjiro the brother and sister um duo um super awesome you know what maybe i should you know what well, while you guys are still here why not she's super pretty i'll mess with her face a little bit oh wait a second well she's just coming apart on me she's like you know what i was doing good but you wanted to mess with me oh and this part does come off, which is cool, but I'm going to put it back on there. Since she is a good vampire demon. And you know what else inspires me about this show? This, this, this kid lost his entire family. You know, and he's just trying to hang on to the last shred of hope and family familiarity that he even has. You gotta respect that, you know. And he was he's willing to do anything to do that. Okay. That face is better. So yeah. Love the parts, love the color, love all the um quality. I love all the parts that Tanjiro came with. Nezuko is a little basic, but again, she slept. Like I said, she slept. She's sleeping most of the anime, so I totally get why she was a little bit plain. It was nice that she came with that box for him, though. That's super cool. And like I said, that's gonna be awesome. Um, but if you guys like my review, leave it down in the comments. Tell your boy what you love, what you don't love. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn the little notification bell on there so you can get my new latest content, guys. Here are my Nendoroids, my duo. That's it on Dom's Anime Den, guys. <laughs>